In this video I'm giving you 7 reasons why you should start a landscape photography YouTube channel. A YouTube channel is the best way to promote your photography, no matter if you're a hobbyist or it's a business. So keep watching. Hi, I'm Kim from landscape to art Many landscape photographers dream about making money from, from their photography and most of them just stay stays with the dream and never get started. And there might be different reasons for this and most of them are, are excuses. If you think you think you don't have the skills to 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 you to make YouTube videos or or you don't have the time. But if you want to take your photography seriously and 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 you want to build an audience, you need to use YouTube. The thing is you really don't need thousands and, and hundreds of thousands of followers to be successful on, on YouTube. Because it all boils down to, to having a plan or, or a strategy. And this is where YouTube comes to play. And so let's jump right in and see why, why a YouTube channel is the best choice for landscape photographers to promote their, their photography work. And the reason number one is that video is exploding online video is is increasing rapidly and video is is favored on every platform on, on social media whether it's instagram or facebook or or youtube video creates personal connections and, and you, you get to connect more with the with the audience than than if you just make pure text and and write blogs and also on video, it's easier to engage with your audience because it, it's live, you, they can see you and they kind of get to know you better. And also vid the video format is better for, for education. And typically for photography, you, you have to show different things, different techniques related to, to the camera and, and composition. And, and showing that on video is of course much better than just pictures in, in a blog post. Also, video is a very powerful marketing tool and it's estimated by 2022, approximately 82% of the global internet traffic will be from, from video streaming or downloads of videos. And finally, YouTube is the biggest video platform out there and, and YouTube is a free platform. But the thing is with video, it's, it's of course takes more time, it's more difficult to create video than just post on Instagram several days, uh, several times per day. And, and it, it, that takes just seconds, even though it's hard work, it, you have less competition because fewer people are actually jumping into video creation. And the second thing with, with the uh, YouTube as a photographer or a landscape photographer is that you already have the skills, you have an advantage over other people that are starting YouTube channels that don't even know anything about the camera or lighting or composition. And also as a photographer, you probably already have a lot of the equipment that you need, camera, uh, tripod and the lenses. And, and, and you have the camera skills, you, you know how to expose, you know how to compose. So you don't have to learn all these things. The only thing is that photographers tends to like being behind the camera and not in the front. So, so you have to step out of your comfort zone, but that's just simple. I, I struggled a lot before I got started and I was never prepared, but I just had to do it. And, and after some videos, you, you feel much more confident. The third thing with YouTube is that when you create content on, on YouTube, it's evergreen. That means the content lives forever. But of course you have to provide value. It, it, you cannot post anything. It must be something that uh, the audience are interested in, in seeing. So generally you have to solve a problem. And in photography, there is a lot of challenges for, for beginners and even more advanced photographers always see or, or find things that they, are, they, are, they want to know more about within photography. There's always coming new photographers that wants to learn. So the, the content you make will be useful for years to come. So by making or creating great stuff on YouTube, you are, you are, your content is going to be found for, for a long time. Whereas, you know, for on Instagram and Facebook that the content just has a short shelf life. It's best at the best a day or two. 
the fourth and very important thing also with YouTube is searchable content. YouTube is a search engine and it's the largest, second largest search engine, engine after Google. And also when you search on Google, which a lot of people do all the time, you, if you have a good YouTube video that are requested, it can also show up in, in a Google search. But to take advantage of search, you need to know your target audience. So you need to narrow down your niche. You need to focus on a specific niche by, by finding relevant keywords that are working on, on, on YouTube, keywords that people are searching for, searching help for. You, you can create content, specific content for that audience. And the more specific you are, the better it is. When you, when you make good content that it can be searched on YouTube and it can be found long time after you, you, you made the video. And in, in fact, the longer the video stays on YouTube, the, the more chance it has to be found by search. The fifth point is that YouTube is actually interested in promoting your content. On Facebook and Instagram, your content is kind of disposable content. You, you have to continuously add new content, probably several times a day to get it going. And a lot of people has built a following on Facebook and then Facebook changed the algorithm. And I, I remember back in, I think it was around 2014, there was a lot of angry photographers out there and they just said it should stop using Facebook because Facebook stopped feeding or, or showing the, the content to, to the followers. So a lot of photographers have built huge following and then suddenly Facebook stopped showing their content to their, their, their followers. And that's what happens on, on rented land. You have no control over over Facebook or, or not over YouTube for that matter. But YouTube is interested, interested in, in promoting you. The, the, YouTube loves your content really, because the more, you, the more content YouTube show, the, the more they make from advertisement. And that's the business model of, of YouTube. So YouTube makes money from ads. And the more popular videos, the more ads or, or ad income YouTube makes. Because, because YouTube want to promote good videos, they, they are suggesting your video and they are suggesting related video. So the more you are focusing on a specific topic, the more chance you have to be suggested besides other creators that are, are doing similar things as you. But if you're totally off topic and doing everything, then, then YouTube will have a hard time to figure out what, what your channel is actually about. But remember, YouTube is a long-term strategy and, and you have to be consistent and, and you have to believe in the, in the, in the system. And in, inconsistency is the biggest failure a lot of creators do. They, they start a YouTube channel and then they don't see any progress. They don't get any followers and then they give up. The sixth thing with YouTube is that you can monetize on the platform itself. And that's unlike any other social media platform. You can add any type of links to, to, your, to the YouTube description, as many as you like, there is no limitation. So you can, you can add links for, for, for your opt-ins if you are collecting emails. You can add links directly to your sales or product or offers and you can add links to affiliate programs. You can also monetize directly on the, on the YouTube platform. And that's what a lot of, of photographers do, but you have to build a certain amount. You, you have to have a, a lot of views to get any, any pro, any, to get any really money back from this program, the YouTube partner program. So it's dependent on volume. But if you sell your own products and services, volume is not that big of an issue. So you can actually sell and, and make money from YouTube even though you have a small following. So by diversifying your income streams on YouTube, you have endless opportunities. The seventh thing I want to talk about regarding YouTube is that it's an ideal platform for business. As I just mentioned, you can monetize directly. but also the demographics on YouTube, it's, it, you, you can find people from all, in all ages there, from, from, from 18 to 50, 60 or even older. So whereas 
on typically Instagram is has younger audience. So it depends what what your audience are. Due to to the demographics on YouTube that everyone's on YouTube, you you can actually use it for whatever any product you are are promoting. As a business, it's important to build a community around your niche and that's possible with, with because of the nature of YouTube. You you can develop relationships with other creators and and that can open up for opportunities for for engagements or collaborations and and even collaborations with with businesses and other brands. Also YouTube has a very powerful analytics and and that's what I like so much with YouTube is that you can track everything. You can see which videos are working, which videos are not working. What are people responding to? All these things makes it like it's so fun to make videos because you can you can adjust all the time and do more of what's actually working and and do less of things that are not working. But also YouTube, because of all these possibilities of, of analytic research, you, you, it's easy to get stuck or hang up in this and, and focus on the wrong thing. So you have to focus on what you can control. And, and a lot of people on YouTube are obsessed by getting new subscribers. And of course, subscribers are, are nice to have, but you need to assure that it's the right subscribers for your, your purpose or, or whatever you are marketing or selling. And you cannot control the subscribers. You have to, to deal with that. Subscribers come naturally if, if, you're, if your content is good. So what you should focus on is creating videos. That, that's the only thing you can control. You can control how many videos you, you make per month or, or per year. So to get attention for years to come with your, your content, video is a must. And there is a threshold, of course, as I mentioned here, to start video, it's higher because it takes more efforts. But the higher the threshold means it's less competition because most photographers, they, they take the simple route. They, they decide to use Instagram or Facebook and posting their images there. What, what are you going to do? Are you going to do this differently? So leave a comment in the section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and until next time, ha de bra, goodbye.